Hey everybody, this is Brandy. I have been with Help Systems for almost 16 years, believe it or not, and uh, with the SQL and uh, Showcase team for about 14 of those. Today I'm going to show you the great options that we have in Viewpoint to drill into your data. So Viewpoint offers two options that are available for drilling into your data. We have dynamic drill down and application drill down. Dynamic drill down is available over any view with a group by statement or any grouping view. And the users are given a list of fields that are available from that view to use for drilling. And then it's all done on the fly. In contrast, an application is a collection of views or script views or tables together with an option file that is created so that the users have predefined paths for their drill downs. So let me go ahead and just show you a quick example of each of those. Okay, so I've got a view here. It's a, a really simple grouping view. We've got customer numbers and then just a simple count of the invoices for that customer number. If you right click on any one of these records, you'll see the dynamic drill down options, regroup and show details. We're gonna do show details first. This is gonna bring up a list of all of the fields that are available in this view. And it'll allow you to select, like it said, on the fly, the ones that you want to see more information. So, for example, we'll keep the invoice, uh, sorry, customer number, we'll select invoice, and just a couple other, just to make it interesting. So we are creating an SQL statement behind the scenes, doing our magic, and then we're going to display the results of that new view for you. Let's bring this over. So you can see up here that we, I selected this particular customer number and we have 24 invoices, which match. The other option for dynamic drill down is the regroup. So again, we'll right click. And this time we just wanna take this information but group it in a different way. So maybe this time we want to see the invoices by order type. So again, we're gonna do our magic behind the scenes and. Uh, run a new SQL statement, and then we'll see our count of invoices, 124, and that matches. A great feature that I wanted to point out for you with a dynamic drill down is you can use the new view to create a new definition. So if you wanted to save this view and be able to run it automatically or run it through Viewpoint, you can do that easily. The other option is the application drill down. Now this looks just like a regular view because that's our starting point. So we're gonna pick on, let's see, we'll just right click on this, this customer number, 100200. And you can see instead of a list of fields, we have our predefined paths. And then the users would just pick which path they wanna take and they just drill down that way. So what we're doing behind the scenes is um, creating a link between these using the application object and some variables. And then we can keep going if we would like and continue to drill down. Okay. And that's as complicated as it is. It, it's really straightforward. So if we can go back to the PowerPoint, please. So you can see that both the dynamic drill down and the application drill down are quite powerful and very user friendly, but they do each have their own place. So you'll want to use the dynamic drill down if the users are familiar with the files in the view or the fields in the view and they know exactly what they're looking for, or if they need some flexibility for their drill down options. However, if you need to provide more structure for drilling, or the data that needs to be drilled into isn't in the initial view, or if you want to use a SQL host table or a script view as part of your drilling either from or to, that's when you would want to definitely use the application. 